So I want to talk about the way I approach color grading in most of my comics. Now, most of this is, you know, a matter of laying a color over absolutely everything, like you see here. This is page 17 from chapter 5 of my graphic novel. You can actually see that this individual layer, a hard light layer, that's the name of the color mode, is laid over at 100% opacity. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use this in every single page of you know every single comic. You just take a color and slap it over in some mode. For a lot of sequences, it really does add something. Like this, for instance, is almost a day for night scene. You can kind of get that that film effect of, you know, way back in the day, you'd shoot something and well, people still do it. I'm saying back in the day, but people still shoot entire sequences during the day and then color grade them to look like they were shot at night or at least in, you know, they're, they're intended to be used in sequences where you want to, you know, portray a nighttime setting. Well, in comics, I'm kind of doing that, uh, that the same way, not necessarily trying to imitate day for night, but just trying to get a sort of a nighttime atmosphere sort of effect. And I've used that in this sequence, sort of a chase sequence, where, let me see if that's the first page, that actually goes back to this particular page. There are similar settings um, all at the same time of day, which is, you know, a, sort of a late night hour. And that overlay will continue until the sequence breaks, you know, which is at the, actually at the very end. And we start to get a completely different color temperature based on these overlays. Now, these are different colors and different lights and gradients, but, you know, they add up to sort of the same thing towards the end. They turn a lot of these colors of the characters, which are supposed to be so almost porcelain. Uh, you know, at nighttime, that would be almost blue, you know, they have that really great sort of James Cameron cast uh, to everything. Uh, that was I remember that being extremely popular in a lot of films of that era. But that's that's kind of how I approach grading, you know, to, to borrow a, a film term. And that's kind of how I approach grading for a lot of these comics. And in Clip Studio, any program, as you can see, every single one of these layers has a different mode for different lighting effects. Uh, like, for instance, there was a slight glow effect I was using for some debris at the bottom here. But that wasn't necessarily a lighting effect. It was just to get a brush stroke to appear over the rest of the uh, the rest of the comp. And there are additional lighting effects, you know, for the top here in this other layer, which is just a normal, normal color layer uh, layering itself into there's no blending effect it's just the default layer but it is held back a little in transparency and then there's the overall grading layer which sits just under the borders you know, the uh, panel borders for the page now this is this is also when i wasn't really using the panel capabilities of clip studio it has built-in panel separation guides and and other tools but since a lot of these pages were started uh, thumbnailed in GIMP, you know, in their entirety, those were actually imported at one point. And I didn't bother using the, the panel separation tools, just continued using the simple uh, multiplication uh, of, you know, panel guides. But I did switch to that for a lot of the issues and a lot of the pages. It's a really efficient approach, and, and that's one of the biggest reasons I, I started using Clip Studio. But this, uh, this effect will work in either GIMP or Clip Studio or Photoshop, any image manipulation program that has color layering modes, and almost all of them, except for maybe Microsoft Paint, have layers and modes. Be sure to like, subscribe, or share these videos. That would be greatly appreciated. But, you know, for now, if you're a subscriber to this channel, you're the people who are seeing these videos first. And I appreciate you signing up to that mailing list. Thanks, everybody.